Hey guys, we've got a banger of a week of weather coming this week with a possible hurricane forming in the western Atlantic taking aim on Florida, possibly tornadoes and severe weather in the upper Midwest, and maybe a blizzard in the northern plains. And all of this is coming together on Thursday. I don't know what to chase yet. It's going to be a hard decision to figure out which flavor of chasing I want. Do I want to go for the hurricane? Do I want to go for the tornadoes? Or do I want to go for the blizzard? But I'm not going to be able to chase all of them because they're all happening on Thursday. Oh, oh, can you guys hear that? That's the sound of the heartbeat of the tropics, which is still kicking, still alive, still trying to produce hurricanes all the way here in November. Of course, hurricane season does last until November 30 at the end of the month. So it's not out of the realm of possibility that we're seeing a hurricane like this. The National Hurricane Center has named Subtropical Storm Nicole this morning as it starts to organize in the Western Atlantic, making its way towards the Florida coastline, that Eastern Florida coastline. Now, regardless of classification, whether this remains a tropical storm, develops into a hurricane, there is going to be nasty weather in Florida this week, especially for points to the north of the hurricane where it makes landfall. Coastal flooding will be a big concern, and of course you're going to have strong winds, so it's time to start putting away that those lawn ornaments, uh, any kind of decorations you have outside that could get blown by the storm. Get those inside and start preparing because you only have three days until the storm makes landfall in Florida. Now, in the upper Midwest, another trough ejection just like we had this past Friday in Texas is taking place, and it's going to bring severe weather to the upper Midwest. The Storm Prediction Center has already got a day four slight risk outlined in their forecasting, and it could bring severe weather, possibly tornadoes, damaging winds, and hail. So it's also time to be prepared for that. You know, you can get your stuff indoors if you live in the Midwest when you have big storms coming as well. You also don't want that stuff flying around, maybe damaging your neighbor's car or something of that nature. Then, on the back side of this big low pressure system in the upper Midwest, we could see blizzard conditions for the Northern Plains. Areas like Bismarck, all the way to Grand Forks, Fargo, right along that strip of the North Dakota, South Dakota state lines could bring blizzard conditions starting Thursday all the way to Friday morning. It's gonna be really nasty in the Northern Plains. Winds howling out of the Northeast as that low pressure rotates around through the upper Midwest, eventually making its way into Canada. Not as strong in Canada, we could still see snow and things of uh, that nature in Ontario, uh, all the way into Quebec. If you are in the Northern Plains and you find yourself in that blizzard target zone, it's also best to prepare for that. You should be stocking up on food and water, expect potential power outages, get those board games ready to play with the kiddos because it could get nasty and you're gonna wanna stay indoors during this storm. So what will I be chasing? Well, I'm not actually sure yet. All three events look interesting. A hurricane in November, that's pretty rare. The first blizzard of the new season. I love being on that first blizzard of the new season. And of course, you know I love chasing severe weather and tornadoes. So I'm gonna have to figure that out. I'm fighting off something, maybe COVID, got a bit of a sore throat and a little bit of fever. So that may limit what I chase. May not be able to make it down to Florida and have to stick to the Northern Plains here or the upper Midwest, but that's okay with me. I love chasing all weather events and you will find me out there live streaming in the field, of course. You can follow along. We'll be out there tracking storms, getting those views to people that are in the path so that they know, hey, here's what's coming your way. You better hunker down, get indoors, get those preparations done, get the board games going with the kiddos. I'll see you guys out there in the field later this week. Chase your passion.